UFC 250 Nunez versus Spencer took place Saturday, June 6 at UFC Apex in Las Vegas. The main event features a women's featherweight championship bout between Amanda Nunez and Felicia Spencer. This event will be closed to the public. Two-time division UFC champion and greatest women's fighter of all time, Amanda Nunez, hopes to continue her dominant run when she faces submission ace Felicia Spencer. Let's talk Nunez versus Spencer. Amanda the Lioness Nunez, fighting out of Miami, Florida, looks to continue building her incredible legacy with another show-stealing title defense. She is the woman's bantamweight and featherweight champion and the first woman to simultaneously hold titles in two divisions. Nunez is a fierce champion and one of the most well-balanced, ultra-technical fighters we have seen in our sport with not many, if any, weaknesses. She possesses so many ways to win and has an incredible fight IQ. She is currently on a 10-fight win streak and looks to dispose of Spencer in Nunez typical KO fashion tonight. But on the other side of the octagon, you have the phenom Felicia Spencer. The top women's featherweight contender is 8-1 fighting out of Orlando, Florida by the way of Montreal, Canada and aims to send shockwaves throughout the sport world by dethroning the greatest fighter in women's MMA history. Spencer comes from a Taekwondo style of stand-up and she is big, durable, strong and she has been dominant on the ground and this is by far the biggest test of her career against the champ. And here's how it went down. Guys, the real story of the night was the champ Nunez completely outclassing Spencer who didn't have any answers through five hard fought rounds. Nunez showed a great patience dismantling Spencer strategically through each round. Nunez early in the fight took away one of Spencer's biggest strengths by dominating her on the ground and showing off her elite wrestling and black belt. Nunez absolutely put on a clinic showing off her world class talent and all of her weapons were on full display tonight, wow. Spencer showed some serious toughness, but it's just not in the same league as the champ. I highly question her letting her come out for the final round, but Spencer showed almost too much heart tonight, and there was no quit in her. Amanda Nunez defeats Felicia Spencer by unanimous decision, and the champ made history tonight defending titles in both divisions simultaneously. All right, here's my final thoughts. This could have been a trap fight and a little tricky for the champ coming into tonight. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to stay on top as the champ and keep that hunger. It can be hard to get up for a fight that Nunez was so heavily favored in and slip up, but the champ showed why she is the greatest female fighter we have ever seen with her absolute clinic she put on from bell to bell and showed off her discipline tonight. Because from here to the next, I'm gonna grow, you know? I'm gonna go through the roof. I'm gonna go to the top of the mountain. Like, I'm gonna go to the moon. Honestly, I'm gonna go to NASA now. <laughs> I make history tonight. Guys, like, nobody ever did that before. Like, that is amazing. Like, Nunes not only answered the question if she trained as hard as she possibly could have, but this was the best we have ever seen her, and she strategically dismantled Spencer with a wide variety of attacks that confused Spencer all night. It's been a pleasure watching Nunez throughout her career, and I think we can safely say she showed us why she is the greatest we have ever seen, and she is still showing us that she is only getting better, which is scary with the world-class talent that she already possesses. Here's some quick stats on Nunez. She is currently on an 11 fight win streak. She is the first woman to defend titles in two weight divisions simultaneously. She is the UFC women's featherweight champion and bantamweight champion. She is the number one ranked women's pound for pound fighter. She has 13 wins by KO, three by submission. She has 13 first round finishes. She now holds wins over Ronda Rousey, Chris Cyborg, Holly Holm, and now Felicia Spencer. Okay, what's next for Nunez? At this point, there's not a real viable opponent for Nunez. I wanna leave this one up to our viewers. Let us know who you think should be next for Nunez in the comments. Guys, I just wanna give a big shout out to all of our loyal fans. We appreciate the support. Don't forget to smash that like button. This is Jay Catton with MMA Weekly's The Lowdown Breakdown. See you next time.